In less than 24 hours, the new Overlook at Charlotte Douglas International will be open to the public. The free Overlook unveiled today will actually be open seven days a week. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre was there and shows us around tonight. The Overlook is the prime location for folks to see planes take off and land, but it is also the place for folks to get a taste of aviation history. Adventures await at the Charlotte Airport Overlook. The last two weeks I've been here just about every day. I wanted to watch the progress of how they lay this uh, in the round taxiway. Calling retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Grover Barfield, an aviation fanatic, would be an understatement. I've got over 250 plastic airplane kits in my basement waiting for me to retire so I can put them together. Scanner in hand, listening to the control tower from the temporary overlook, his love for airplanes took flight at a young age. We lived right off the end of the approach to uh, one of the runways at the Naval Air Station in Bell Chase, and I would sit up on top of the roof in a chair with binoculars logging which plane it was. Friday, he will listen in from the new airport overlook. Charlotte Douglas unveiling the 600,000 square foot area off Old Dowd Road. One of the things that we heard loud and clear when we were in design on this new overlook was that people wanted multiple different ways to uh, experience the airport and the aviation industry. It's been years in the making and comes with spectacular views of the airfield. This retired U.S. military jet and informative exhibits of Carolina's aviation history, all designed to propel the next generation of aviators. And if you look at some of the, the signage that we have around the facility, we talk about airplanes and pilots and mechanics. The overlook also includes a U.S. Air Flight 1016 memorial. I parked on the grass and we watched the airplanes. Barfield hoping the overlook sparks some passion behind an industry he loves. Hopefully it will uh, create an interest in the people coming up behind us and uh, help them to uh, try to educate themselves and continue uh, the success of this airport. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.